Namaste. Now we are going to go a little bit deeper in how to have a very good elimination of the waste, of the metabolic waste in our body. We spoke about ingestion, we spoke a little bit of digestion also, and uh, now we are going to go um, more specific about the excretion process, mainly about the stools here, because in Ayurveda we have a very strong connection between um, going to the toilet, uh, doing having bowel movement, and having good digestion uh, properties. When our agni or metabolic process is working well, one of the signs that it's healthy it's that it's making at least one uh, excretion, one bowel movement daily. It's better when it's early in the morning and even better if it's before the sunrise. Um, now is not the time to go in the details of why it is and that, but the point is that we should encourage our system to go to the uh, bathroom, to the toilet every day and uh, um, have bowel movements. Here in India, they have the Indian toilet uh, that is not the western one, is the one that you are seated uh, just over your legs, you're not seated in the toilet itself. The squat position is uh, a manner to have a easier motion of the bowels. Because there is a muscle that when we are seated, like in the throne, like in the toilet, it doesn't work very well. There is a lot of videos in the internet about this uh, kind of devices that you put your legs a little bit higher so you can still be seated and these muscles are not constrained in the lower area between your anus and this uh, lower region of the body. But the point is that uh, in the West it's almost uh, everywhere the usage of using toilets except you're in indigenous places and uh, people are very used to uh, Indian uh, indigenous customs but this is just like an exception most of the times so one thing that it helps your uh, to have a good bowel movement is do squatting you can stay just like two four minutes in the squatting position and this is going to help you to have more pressure on your um, in large intestine. Another position that is very good to increase the flow of energy prana to these uh, intestines and help to release the stools is being seated like the Japanese uh, position when we sit like this over our knees and this kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to show you a very simple exercise about uh, from yoga that it's called Nauli N-A-U-L-I and this exercise is mainly to, be, to have our um, intestines making more pressure around this area you can look for another videos in the internet showing this uh, in my another series the Ayurvedic the Ayurveda by Namaste I also have this exercise I'm going to show it as a basic manner, not in advanced form, because if you go in the internet and you look, you're going to be maybe, oh, I can't do this, this is too complex, this is too complicated, and this is not the purpose. Here we are going to do mainly like this. We take a breath in, and when we breathe out, if you can be seated like this in Japanese position, the Vrajasana, the uh, thunderbolt uh, position of yoga, you breathe in from your nose and you breathe out from your mouth. And when you breathe out, you put your back just like a turtle, okay? And then, with your stomach empty, you are going to make pressure in your, in your uh, belly with the muscles of the abdomen. It's going to work 
something like this. This is a simple technique. You don't need to just like do the proper movement from right to left that you can see in internet videos. If you just move your uh, belly inside out, inside out, making pressure, and you do just like some circular movements with your waist, it's going to help because our large intestines comes from the right goes. Uh, in the middle and then goes left down and then it goes to the center and then it goes also again down in the rectum. This movement from right to left it helps the uh, feces to make their movement towards the uh, anus and, uh, and encouraging our body to have proper elimination. When we do this exercise, our uh, stomach should be empty. Almost all yogic exercise, the pranayamas, should be done with our belly empty because if it's done with our full stomach, we are going to be mostly of the time uh, spoiling our digestion. When we do this exercise, there is a little bit of increase of heat in our body and you can do it um, standing, not sitting. If you do standing, your hand should go uh, insidewards, like this in your knee. So your elbows get uh, turned outside and when you do this movement to put out the air, you create more space in your back so the turtle can be expanded in our back. And this movement you can do always in the morning if you are not feeling the uh, urge to go to the um, bathroom. Because it's important that the first time in the day, it can be just like the moment you awake or one hour, two hours, three hours later. The first moment that you feel the urge to go to the toilet to have the bowel, bowel movements, you should do that. Because if you don't do, your body will start to lose the capacity to go to do this bowel uh, peristaltic uh, inner muscles uh, working. We are going to talk soon about these natural urges, the vagus, but the point is that when you have a clean large intestine, you are not uh, being contaminated by your own uh, waste products. The waste products in Ayurveda, they are called malas, they need to be expelled in the proper time. They are um, feces, urine, uh, sweat and also menstruation. If these uh, waste products are not eliminated in the due course of time, they start to become ama, uh, metabolic toxins in our system. In the last video we spoke about uh, and the uh, metabolic process and digestive process and undigestive, uh, undigested material that becomes uh, toxic, to our, toxic to our body. Now we have a new um, component of this metabolic intoxication that is when we don't do the proper elimination of our metabolic wastes. So in the morning in Ayurveda Usually it's recommended to encourage the elimination with this uh, pranayama, with sun salutation, surya namaskar, we are going to talk about this soon, uh, with um, doing some stretchings of yoga that are good for this. And after you do the elimination, before you can take some warm water, it also helps, you take and uh, you, you also make micturation, you put your urine, you pass urine, and you take a warm 
hot uh, bath so you can sweat a little bit. In this way we clean our body from the toxins that are were collected during the night by our, our reconstructive process during, during sleep. In Ayurveda, before we eat, usually we clean our system from these metabolic wastes that if they are not properly uh, expelled, they are going to be being absorbed during the digestive process and we are going to be eating trash. This is just the first explanation to make you realize that it's important to be clean inside from your stools, from your urine, from your sweat and uh, in <laughs> monthly periods in, of your menstruation also. Okay? So now we have some basic concepts of Ayurveda. Metabolic process, Agni. Uh, the rhythm of life, Ritu, the um, metabolic intoxication, Ama, and also the metabolic waste, Malas. And now we go on uh, to another important concept of Ayurveda. If you want to have some more specific information about yourself and uh, have uh, proper consultations um, by Skype or any kind of internet um, applicative device, you can contact me at namaste.tiago at gmail.com because this information here is intended to be uh, complementing the information of the sessions, of the online sessions, not actually making your the proper um, consultation for your case. Okay? So, India says, more. Let's go to the other region. Oh. <laughs>